treating surgeons that deal with upper extremity pathology, it is very often the case where ligaments are injured and often these ligaments are injured in the subacute setting. In instances where significant trauma has occurred, such as a fracture of the distal humerus or a malunion where the bone was broken before and then it is healed and now it's unstable, the anatomy is often very different and so the landmarks that we use for a pristine looking elbow are perhaps not the same and it is therefore important to understand the center line of rotation of the distal humerus of the elbow joint if you will and that then allows us to treat unstable elbows very effectively. We employed CAT scans of the distal humerus and we processed those data points and we were able to find a center line based on an algorithm that is easily reproducible but the hinge itself, the ulnotrochlear joint, has to be relatively normal and that it usually is. And so what we do is we manually find the points of deepest depression within the trochlea and then based on that plane that we create, we translate those planes and we're able to reproduce different circles of which each center point creates a center line and that center line very nicely reproduces the center line of rotation which is the point of isometry where it exits on the medial and lateral of the condyle. We are going to need to understand the load sharing properties in an elbow and understand that it's not just the bones that transmit the forces, rather it's the ligaments and the bones. And therefore, understanding ligament reconstruction, points of isometry, and different methods of ligament reconstruction is extremely important to give total elbow replacements, for instance, better outcomes in the future.